Welcome into another Fallout 76 video and in today's video we'll be showing you how to get the Nuka-Cola paint scheme for the T-51B power armor and the Nuka-Cola quantum paint scheme for the X-01 power armor. But before we get into today's video consider clicking that subscribe button for more Fallout guides like this and so that you never miss out on any videos I publish. And without any further ado grab yourself a Nuka-Cola, sit back and relax and let's get into it. So I decided to put together today's guide because with Fallout 25th's anniversary, there's definitely been an increase in players coming to Fallout 76. And with the hype of Nuka World on tour coming at the end of the year to the game, I figured new players and even players who might not be aware that these paint schemes can be found in the world might benefit from this and would love to sport their Nuka Cola colors when Bottling Cappy hit our servers. Now I know for players who have the paint schemes already, this guide probably won't apply to you. And there's a ton of great guides out there already showcasing this, but hopefully you find this guide enjoyable and it helps some of you new players bring some more fun and enjoyment to your journeys. Starting off with the Nuka-Cola T-51B Power Armor Plan, we first of all need to head to Pylon V13 located in the Cranberry Bog and east of the abandoned bog town. Once you arrive here you'll need to head towards the base of the pylon and then located on the ground beside some trees you'll find a skeleton next to a green duffel bag. Inside of the duffel bag you'll find a toolbox key. Once you've collected the toolbox key, you'll then need to head to Watoga. And for me, the best location to head from is the Watoga Shopping Plaza. Once you arrive here, head towards the edge of the town in this direction. And located on the side of the river on the rocks will be a red toolbox. Inside of the red toolbox, you'll find the key to Clara's box and some other junk items. Once you have the key, you'll then need to fast travel to Sutton. And for me, the best place to fast travel to is the Overseer's House. From here, you'll then need to head right of the Overseer's house and head towards this red house. And located at the back of that house, you'll see a red dog house. Inside of the red dog house, you will find Clara's box and located inside of it will be the Nuka-Cola locker key. Once you've collected the locker key, you'll then need to head to the Kanoa Nuka-Cola plant located in the forest region and west of Charleston. Once you arrive, head towards the main entrance located east of the plant. Once you're inside, make your way into the atrium and then once you're in here, head up right up these flight of stairs and then upon opening the door located directly in front of us, head towards the locked door located on the opposite side of the room. But be careful, there more than likely will be a couple of ghouls to take out while you're here. <laughs> Once you've defeated the ghouls and collected some Nuka-Cola, head towards the room adjacent to the room you entered. And at the end of this corridor, you'll find a locker in a pile of rubble, which upon opening it will give you the TNT Dome Key 3. Once you've collected TNT Dome Key 3, you'll then need to head towards the Black Mountain Ordnance Works located north of Point Pleasant and west of Vault 76. From this direction, and as you can see, I'm facing the Ordnance Works, and at the end of the road you can also see the Ohio River. And from this direction, you need to head up this dirt track, which will then lead you to TNT Dome 3. And then upon entering the bunker, you will find the plan for the Nuka-Cola T-51B power armor located on top of this knocked over crate alongside some Nuka-Cola outfits and also some Nuka-Cola located around the bunker. Now, if the plan is not there for you, you will need to server hop a couple of times until you find the plan sitting there. But don't worry, you won't need to repeat any of these steps because all you'll need to do is to head back to TNT Dome 3 until the plan spawns there. Now for the Nuka-Cola Quantum X01 Power Armor Plan. First off, you'll need to head back to the Nuka-Cola plant we were just at. And then upon entering, head into the atrium again and head towards the door located left of the globe statue and of Bottle and Cappy, which will be locked. And upon entering, open up the bathroom stall and located on the ground beside the wall will be the paired keycard 01. Once you have the paired keycard 01, you'll then need to head towards Tanagra Town located in the mire, east of Harpers Ferry and south of the abandoned waste dump. From here, you'll then need to head up to the very top of Tanagra Town, which can be a bit tricky to get up to, so be very careful while heading up, because it's very, very easy to fall off. But just make sure to follow this route to the very top.
Upon entering the grey house located in front of us, you'll then need to jump across to the other side of the dilapidated house onto the floor jutting out, and located on top of this will be the paired keycard 02. Once you have the paired keycard 02, you'll then need to head to the crash plane in the Mire region located east of Moss Town and west of the Dyer Chemical Plant. And then upon arriving here, follow this route until you come to the base of the crash plane and located in a blue suitcase will be the Nuka-Cola Marketing Access Code. Once you have the access code, you'll then need to head to Ingram Mansion located west of the Monaga Overlook and east of Morgantown. Upon arriving at Ingram Mansion, head towards the back of the mansion on the west side, but be careful this location will have cultists guarding the grounds. But once at the back, head into this room through the broken window and located on the wall will be a terminal which you can access, with the access code you just located at the crash plane. Once you enter the terminal, you need to select the option Generate One Time Key, and once you have your one time key, make sure to write it down or memorize it, because if you enter enter this code incorrectly at the next location, you will need to come back here to generate another passcode. I will also note that the code on screen is unique to me, so the code you need to enter will be completely different to what you see here, just in case you might have thought that you could skip this step. Once you have your two key cards and your generated one-time key code, you'll then need to head to the Overlook Cabin located in the Forest Region, just east overlooking Nougat and the Somerville Docks and north of Charleston. Upon entering the cabin, you will be greeted by Scorched who are patrolling the cabin, so be careful when entering. But once you have them defeated, head down towards the basement, and located in a room adjacent to the room we enter in the basement, you will find two keycard slots that you will need to use. Make sure to swipe the keycard slot here first, and then this one after it as fast as you can, and once you swipe them both, and located behind you, a secret passageway will open up with a security safe that you'll need to use your generated one-time keycode on. Once you enter your code, you'll then need to make your way back out of the room we were just in, and then in front of you will be another secret room that will open up, and located on this table in front of you will be the TNT Dome Key 7 keys. Once you've collected TNT Dome Key 7, you'll then need to head back to the Black Mountain Ordnance Works, which is the same location we found the plans to the Nuka-Cola T-51B Power Armor. Upon arriving at the Ordnance Works, follow this route, and then head left of the Ordnance Works, and then follow this route until you come to the entrance of TNT Dome 7, which can be tricky to find. But once you find the entrance to Dome 7, and then upon entering, you will find the plans to the Nuka-Cola Quantum X01 Power Armor Paint Scheme, located on top of this table, alongside a ton of junk items, which can be great to farm for lower level players, and also as well some unique Nuka-Cola bottles. And once you have both of your brand new Nuka-Cola paint schemes collected, you can then head back to your camp and marvel at the beauty of each of these Power Armor paints. I have to say, when these were first introduced during the Wild Appalachia expansion, I was delighted to see them added, because being a fan of Nuka World from Fallout 4, and having such fond memories of getting the same Power Armor skins in Fallout 4, besides having to find 35 Star Cores to unlock the Nuka-Cola Quantum X01, yeah, that wasn't such a fun memory, but I was thrilled to see them here, and I hope for new and existing players who never found these plans, and are getting hype for Nuka World on tour coming in December, I hope you're us thrilled to have them here too. And with that, that's how to locate both the Nuka-Cola T-51B and the Nuka-Cola Quantum X01 Power Armor Paint Schemes. If you found this video enjoyable and found that it helped, consider clicking that subscribe button for more Fallout content like this and so you never miss out on any videos I publish. I want to also say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers over here on YouTube and over on Twitch, as it means the world to me that you enjoy my content and the work that I produce. For our Bethesda fans, if you find yourself shopping on the Bethesda store and want to support the channel, you you can use my creator code BTPINEAPPLE104 to receive 20% off of your purchases at checkout. If you'd also like to support the channel in a more personal way, consider checking out my merch store, which I'll leave a link to in the description of this video. And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there in the wasteland, welcome to Vault 93, and I'll catch you all in the next video.